Friday, everybody. It's been a big week for a team of veterans climbing their way to the top of Mount Everest. They are five days into the journey, climatizing before they start that trek up to the summit of Mount Everest. They're using it as a symbol of the uphill battle that soldiers face every day when they battle PTSD. We hope to accomplish a number of things. Putting the first active duty soldier on top of the world, helping Chad Jukes become the first combat wounded veteran to get to the top of the world, and most importantly, raise awareness for mental health initiatives. PTSD is very near and dear to my heart. A couple of my soldiers still struggle with it, um, as do you know, many of the senior NCOs that have been deployed five, six, seven times over, you know, overseas. We're honored to have Command Sergeant Major Todd Burnett. He's the co-founder of U.S. Expeditions and Explorations, better known as USX. Um, first of all, thank you for your service to our country. And thank you for what you're doing to help veterans with USX. This is amazing stuff. Thank you. And we we're very uh, grateful that you have us here today and uh, look forward to talking about USX and what we can do to help veterans. Tell us about the connection between what the, they're doing on this climb and how it raises awareness for PTSD. What's the connection for viewers at home to understand? So the, uh, you know, Harold came up with USX and he said, uh, called me and said, I want to climb, uh, be the first army team to climb uh, Mount Everest. I said, well, that, that's good, but what's the so what of it? Um, and the so what of it is, uh, you know, I said, let's do it to raise awareness for post-traumatic uh, stress and suicide. I said, because, you know, you're going to do this and you're going to have a bond with these. And, and that's how it kind of comes together right. is we're trying to look uh, for a long-term bond of, of people and they have that support mechanism of that person that they have the trust and confidence because they've done something that nobody, uh, you know, not everybody takes on Mount Everest um, <laughs> to, to do that. That's and right. then they'll have a lifelong bond. Uh, plus in the middle of the night when they're having a problem, they have that support mechanism to call them. And how are they doing so far? Oh, they're doing great. They uh, had climatized over the weekend, uh, and then they took a couple days in Kathmandu to get the final stuff that they needed, the supplies and whatnot. Uh -huh. uh, they had to get some uh, dry food. I, I told them to take MREs, meals ready to eat, <laughs> uh, but they weren't going for it. So they had to get the final supplies, and now they're they're on their way. And uh, it's a it's a slow and gradual to get them climatized as they get to the different altitudes. It's so fascinating. It's a conversation we're going to continue because we're running out of time. But folks, if you would like to follow the journey and support USX, you can visit them online at usx.vet, or you can follow them on Facebook and Twitter. Come on back on Facebook.